Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm Vitoista, and today we're going to react to Ren X Chinchilla Chalk Outlines Live. Now this has been heavily requested ever since I started doing Ren, and I'm finally getting around to it. Don't really know what to expect, but I am excited. You know, the name Chalk Outlines, it makes me think of, you know, the Chalk Outlines they put on dead bodies perhaps. So I don't know if it'll be about something relating to death, maybe, but I'm too early to say, too early to say. <clears throat> so, we're going to get into it pretty quickly. I'm not going to talk too much, hopefully. Official video in the description. Check that out before you check me out. You know, support Ren and Chinchilla. Amazing artist. Don't know too much about Chinchilla yet, but I'm sure they're amazing, and we're going to get the first taste of them. So I'm going to pull the video up. I have lyrics over here in case I need them. So I'll be looking over there every once in a while. But for now, let's just get straight into it. Three, two, one, let's kick it. Mm. Slow build up of strings in the background. It's so eerie. I love how they don't mute out the sound effects or anything in his videos, you know, he has all the sounds and I really enjoy it. <clears throat> I I am getting some eerie vibes and as always the cinematography is amazing, you know, it's pretty much all just one cut. There's a little cut there of the name of the song but otherwise they just continued with the same cut so, you know, awesome video still as always. Guitar's coming out. <clears throat> I'm still here in this bed that I crawled in. I hope that I'm someone else in the So take this one, wash it down and you'll be fine and Walk around in the floating chalk outline Jeez, it's already so beautiful, but it's, it's, it's eerie. As always, you know, you can hear the little twangs of him moving his fingers along the guitar strings. It's just a beautiful guitar playing as always that I've come to expect from him. Um, he has here, wash it down and you'll be fine. Take this one, wash it down, you'll be fine. Presume that means maybe pills. Um, you know, he, he's obviously been bedridden. He's going through everything he's going through. And, you know, therapists, pharmaceuticals, they're just telling him to take the pills, you'll be fine. It's kind of just their way of getting you to do it, I guess. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure chalk outline, he's referring to like a dead body chalk outline. Walk around in the floating chalk outline. So it goes, let it be in the gallows, balanced on my toes. So I That's a great line because obviously gallows, they hang you and on your toes you try to breathe. I think this is a really nice song so far. It It is sad by the sounds of it. And I really love the reverb that the uh, place that he's singing in is giving. It's giving it like a little echo that makes his voice sound nice and deep. 
Really nice storytelling so far, bro. So I can breathe, but little by little, bit by bit, I push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, just for a while, I bury myself with a great big smile. Nice chorus of it, really. Um, there are a couple of parts I want to touch on. He said something like he pushes it back down with a new habit. I'm going to assume that means like turning to just drugs rather than just appeals to counter, I guess, the medications he's taken. Um, so maybe recreational drugs. He's pushing it down with a new habit. Um, and then he had the I'll bury myself with a smile. I believe... You know, it could be a facade smile, like he's smiling, but really he's just pretending smile. He's like burying the emotion inside him. But it could be talking about, I guess, the, the smile you get from like the pills and the side effects and such. I'm not too sure. And, you know, he had the, I love the oh my, my, my part. Yeah, like I said, the reverb on his voice is so nice of this place there singing in. But, I think it's just a beautiful song, obviously. I mean, erase ourselves in these chalk outlines. I guess getting rid of them, the body inside the outline, maybe, or even just removing the outline they made. I'm not too sure. But, you know, obviously you erase chalk. So I don't know if there's a deeper meaning there. I'm not getting, but still beautiful. I think we're getting into chinchilla now. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. She has a beautiful voice and it pairs so well with the reverb like I've mentioned with Ren. <clears throat> Pretty much, yeah, talking about pills, you know, side effects of pills, uh, the medications that you're taking. And I believe, I'm still thinking the part where it says the feeling goes and you draw a chalk outline. I believe that's talking about, I guess, maybe the side effects and you feel like you're going to die perhaps because you're like getting the chalk outline for your body ready maybe. But there's definitely like connotations of pills side effects overdosing and perhaps death in the song but it's so well done i love this guitar Their harmony is so nice together. Little by little, bit by bit, I push it back down with a new habit. Sort of oh, I just want to mention her voice is amazing. Like Ren has the voice I've come to expect, where it's just it, it's deep, it sounds unique, and it just sounds good. But her voice, it adds a really nice layer to it. I don't know. It's got like that highness that Ren often doesn't do with choruses where he kind of stays low, which I really enjoy, but it adds just a lot more depth to the song. I think they pair really well together, their voices. I push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, just for a while, I bury myself with a great big smile. Ooh, 
they are amazing together. I really love Chinchilla's voice. Oh, she is great. I, I think it works really well. I didn't know what to expect, but it cuts in so nicely with Vern's deeper vocals. <sighs> okay, so I'm just kind of starstruck now because they, they sound so professional together. Yeah, being scared of change, you know, especially if you are you are on medication and you've already got an illness or, or something going on, change can, you know, it can disrupt a lot of thinking, it can make you more anxious. It's just, you know, humans are comfortable with being in familiar places and we like being in control, so, you know, as we lose control and we, we start seeing change, we feel like we're losing a bit of ourselves and that means we don't feel as safe. So, you know, they're talking about being in this chalky outline and, you know, they don't, they obviously don't like it, but at least they're familiar with it, I suppose, because they can control it a little bit, you know, they've got the pills. But I, I guess what they're trying to go with is it's such a perfect day, take it just in case, take it just in case. You know, they, they're comfortable with where they are and, you know, they don't want it to change, but I guess they have to take the medication and they don't want to risk what happens if they don't, maybe. That's just my little tidbit of theory, but I'm not too sure. It's such a perfect day. It's a beautiful shame. It's a beautiful shame. I'm scared of being okay. Her voice is so operatic as well. Like it's hitting notes that are really breathy, which I've, which I, I listen to opera sometimes. Um, it really depends on my mood. I really like Bocelli and Pavarotti, and you know, along with classical music. So it's got like this really breathy, as I said, opera sort of sound. But I, I just enjoy because it, it works so well with a deeper tone that Ren does. But little by little, bit by bit, I'll push it back down with a new habit. Mm, okay, okay, I'm going to go back a bit because I love how they've stripped back the instrumental and gone into the chorus again. Really nice way to end the song if that's how they're ending it. But little by little, bit by bit, I'll push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, just for a while, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. Oh, mama, oh, mama, we trace up. Mmm. They are so good. Her voice is so stunning. Oh, mama, oh, mama, we trace ourselves in it's giving me shivers. Well, okay, I'm so glad I've done this song. That was amazing. Now, I don't like comparing artists to other artists. But I'm going to do it as a sign of kind of to show you how much I think she is skilled. Her voice, especially with the Oh My My part, it reminds me a lot of pink. And not like more modern pink, like older pink. Um, songs like Dear Mr. President. I don't know, it's just got... Wait, I'm going to hear it. Yeah, it does. It really sounds like pink. And I love pink. She's like... One of the few, I don't know if she's considered pop or what she's considered, but as a kid, my parents played Pink a lot, and we just loved her, so it, it's really nice hearing a voice similar to that. It, it brings me back, because I haven't heard many voices like that. It's such a nice tone. I think this is like a great song 
they worked so well together. Now I'm trying to think if there's any deep meaning, but I, I do believe it's just about, I guess, um, the struggles with, you know, having mental illness and having to take pills and drugs to manage the symptoms and issues. And there's like these little connotations of death and I guess fear of change in it. But I can't think of any deeper meaning other than that. So if that is a meaning, I'm, I'm glad that they've made it so clear and it comes across as really inspiring. Despite the message, it was like motivational in a way, very touching to hear. This, I can see why everybody wanted me to do this one. It was really well done. I, I feel like I need... There's more songs of Chinchilla, I believe. Look, I'm speechless again. I'm stumbling over words. I'm going to do more because Red and Chinchilla, they go really nice together. So I'll do more definitely by them both. But I do plan to do more Red anyway. But I will make sure I am doing the, you know, collabs as well. What a great song, really. I cannot say how amazing that was to me. Made me happy even though the subject matter was sad. So I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. I was in a bit of a shitty mood while I was starting, if I'm not going to lie. I don't know. My motivation was a bit down because I woke up a bit grumpy. Don't know why. Had a headache. This got me in a nice mood. It got me wanting to react more. So I'm glad I did this first. Um, if you enjoyed my reaction, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments with any suggestions, recommendations, or just information. You know, I love reading them. I answer them whenever I can. Haven't answered today's comments yet. I just woke up pretty much, but I will soon, you know. It takes a bit of time to get through all the comments because I do like doing every single comment with like usually a bigger response to thank them and, you know, acknowledge the information and talk a bit, but it takes some time. So I need to motivate myself to do that. I usually do it after I finish all my reactions for the day. So I'll get to it soon, but, you know, comments, I love reading them. I love responding to them. So if you want to put them down there, Go ahead. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later.